David here with today's video, some boss tips for Tunic. The first uh, Garden Knight, which was the boss demo, which was a, a little bit more complicated. This is how Zelda bosses should be. Now, the Garden Knight has three attacks. The first one is three slashes he will do towards you, so you need to dodge them. Don't stay still in one area. Second, he will actually fire three projectiles but they they don't actually follow you or move they will fall they will just fire in a single line but you really need to dodge them before he starts firing that way you can move around him and hit him and the third attack is a sweep then also a uppercut now the first two attacks where he does three slashes and also fires you must use the lock on him when, he, when you dodge three times, make sure you time your dodges. That way you can recover a little bit of stamina. And just move in close, hit him two times. Two times is safe. Three times is better. But any more than three hits, that's just putting you in the danger zone. When he fires his three shots, which he does with his projectiles, you, need, you just need to get really close before he fires, dodge, and then just move around him and hit him three times. Now, with the sweep and uppercut attacks that he does, don't use the lock on him. The moment he starts doing that animation, step away, and at the moment he finishes sweep, run towards him, but not for not, not straight to him, around him. To run, you just hold the, the B button, which I'm using my Xbox controller, I think, or no, I think it is the A button. Running will not consume stamina, but it will stop the stamina from regeneration so take that in mind the only thing that, that, that takes stamina away from you are your dodges now one more tip the garden knight has four life bars when he reaches when you're about to chip away almost his last life bar he will add one new move to his sweep attack and upper then he will do a tower slash tore you and then one more but without moving that is the new move he will add when he's just one life bar away from him being destroyed. So you really need to dodge that one. Finish his sweep, then he does his upper. When he's about to do his forward slash, that's where you dodge. And one more. And then go and hit him two times. That will be the only surprise attack he will do. The other two moves, he doesn't really add anything new. He will still do the same basic. Must always keep him in the center because if you're too stuck in one corner you're gonna get hit and this guy does massive damage my current attack is level three and my stamina is level two these you can get these before facing him if you just browse around now a pro tip a very important tip just as the moment his animation is when he's about to wake up you can land nine hits on him even 12 hits that would chip away one full life bar away from him if you land 9 hits, he will become dizzy for 2 seconds. There you can hit the last 3, then step back and just do your dance with him. That is a very pro tip, because it's going to take around maybe 20 or 30 hits, depending on how high your, your attack is.